I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent suggestions. Here is a very interesting question from one of you. We need to sketch graph of inverse of the function x cube plus x square plus 2. I would like you to pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Now the function which we are given is f of x equals to x cube plus x square plus 2. It's very difficult to isolate x from here. So we cannot really find inverse of the function. However, we can sketch one. Now we'll do the sketching by reflecting on y equals to x. So that's what we are going to do. So basically, uh, we'll sketch it right there. Right. Let's say uh, that's our coordinate plane. We are going to reflect the function on the line, which is y equals to x. Is it clear? So that's the whole idea. So in the first phase, let me sketch the function itself, f of x. Right? Now you also see that this equation could be written as x squared, and we have x plus 1 plus 2. So that means uh, we do have a, a cubic equation here which has zeros at 0 and minus 1 translated two units up, right? Translated two units up. So basically we're looking at a function which is kind of uh, crossing like this, right? And so we have a function which is kind of, uh, let's say, let's say like this, right? which has been translated two units up, right? So let me sketch uh, this function which has been translated two units up. So it will be uh, a function which could be uh, like this. Uh, let me just uh, bear with me. Correct? So that will represent our function. Now, to really make a inverse of this function, you should do it on a graph paper. So uh, do it on a graph paper. I will do approximate calculations. So for me, the critical points which I should be looking into are f of minus 2 f of minus 1, f of 0, f of 1, and f of 2, right? So we'll just calculate these values. Is that clear? Okay. So if I substitute minus 2 here, I get 8 minus, uh, I mean minus 8. So substituting this will get minus 8 plus 4 plus 2, right? Uh, which is what? Which is minus 2. For minus 1, we get uh, minus 1 plus 1 plus 2, which is 2. For 0, we get 0 plus 0 plus 2, which is again 2. And for 1, we get 1 plus 1 plus 2, which is 4. And for 2, we get 8 plus 4 plus 2, which is 14. Correct? So these are my points on f of x. Right? So you can say this point here is at 2. Right, so that is 0. At minus 1, we again have 2. So let's say this point here is, is at minus 1. Then at 0, we have 2, we already have. At minus 2, we have minus 2. So, so minus 2 minus 2 will be this point. So we'll call this as minus 2. And on this side, we can write this as minus 2. Is that clear to you? Okay. Right. At 1, we have 4. So, so at 1, we have 4. So 4 is pretty high. So this is 2, 4 will be here. So we'll just say this is our 1. And we'll call this as our 4, okay? So this point here is 1, 4. At 2, we have 14. So, so 2, that is very far away. We can't plot this. Anyway, so we got our points on the very function. This could be a very interesting point. So 
let's also calculate the value at minus 1.5 right so within brackets minus uh, 0 0.5 between uh, 1 and 2 right 0 0.5 0 0.5 cube plus 0.5 square right uh, plus 2 is how much it is approximately 2.125 so we also found one value which is minus 0 0.5 which seems to be close to this point which is 2.125 so let's say this point is uh, minus 0 0.5 and the value is 2.125 is it okay so we just add 0 0.5 half okay now the inverse function points will be what? You have to just flip them. Perfect. To get those points, you have to just flip them. So let's flip these points. So we get here minus 2, 2, minus 2. This is 2 and minus 1. Here we get 2 and 0. Here we get 4 and 1. Here we get 14 and uh, 2. And here we get 2.125 and minus half okay so so these become our points on the inverse of the function so whenever you have a function which cannot be easily written explicitly in terms of x or y you should use the graphing techniques that's my suggestion right now the idea is to plot these points so 2 minus 2 will be right there okay 2 and then minus 1 2 minus 1 will be uh, somewhere here, let's say 2 and minus 1. Then we have 2 and 0, so 2 and 0 will be here. So we have a point here, we have a point here. 4 and 1, so, so we go right there somewhere here, we have 4 and 1, okay. That is 2 and 14 is very far away. And then we have at uh, slightly away from 2, we have minus half, somewhere here. So 2 and then we have minus half, right here. Now, let's join these points, right? So, so what we have here is, we'll start from here. So this is moving kind of like this, correct? So we'll go like this, and we we'll kind of go like this. Is it clear? So we'll draw the graph, and that is our inverse, right? And definitely, it is not a function. So in this case, inverse is not a function. Okay. That is important to understand and was very clear right in the beginning since the function itself fails the horizontal line test. Do you see that? Since function f of x fails horizontal line test. Right? Is that clear? So that is how it is going to look. So if you have a graph paper on which you plot these points, it would be much better. But I hope for examination point of view also, this is good enough sketch uh, for inverse of the given graph. So let me thank uh, the subscribers for posting such beautiful question. I didn't really had this kind of an example uh, in my videos. And I hope that helps many others. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.